Why does a personal trainer need to know anatomy and physiology? Hi, I'm Hayley from Parallel Coaching and a warm welcome to today's video where we're going to explore anatomy and physiology and being a personal trainer and what the connection is between the two. Now, if you've seen any of our other videos here on YouTube or on our blog, you will have noticed we talk a lot about anatomy and physiology from a PT or Fit Pro perspective. And that's because it's part of the PT syllabus. It's part of what you need to know in order to become a personal trainer. But why is it so important? And that's what we're going to explore today. So not just passing it for your exam, but why do we actually need to know it as part of the assessment and part of becoming a great fit pro? Now, before I get started on the content, there are going to be three mock questions that will help test your knowledge on today's content. If you're on our blog, scroll down and you'll find them at the bottom of the blog, or you can check the link that is with this video and it will take you straight there and you'll be able to access them. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get more videos about anatomy and physiology and other topics that relate to you being a personal trainer and a fit pro and also being the best version of a fit pro you possibly can. So let's understand more about anatomy and physiology. Anatomy and physiology is the study of anatomy, which is the parts of the body, um, and they comprise of lots of different systems inside our body, musculoskeletal system, cardiovascular system, etc. Now, all of these different systems are the parts, but physiology is how all those parts work together. And in relation to the body, it's how the whole body works together. So we've got anatomy, which is the parts, Physiology, which is how they all function together and how they work together. Now, it makes sense, doesn't it, as a personal trainer or a fit pro, that we actually understand the parts of the body and how they work together so that we can actually get a result with our clients. At the end of the day, as PTs or fitness professionals, we spend our whole day working with the body. We analyse the body. We pre prescribe exercises that involves moving the body. Our clients have goals that relate to moving the body and also to getting changes that happen within the body. So it makes sense. We need to know about it. Else it would be like a mechanic trying to work on a car, trying to get a result on a car or on an engine or correcting the balancing between the two tyres, the four tyres, <laughs> four tyres in a car, <laughs> between the tyres, but also getting to the point of saying oh, that only works if I understand each part and I understand then the parts that I'm putting onto that car and how all of the parts work together in order to get a set result. Now that's the same for your P for you as a PT. You want to know the parts of the body and how they work together to get the result with the client. Now this goes deeper. This is about actually understanding what anatomical and physiological adaptations are required to get a client's goal or result. Now, us as fit pros, our job is not just to stand next to someone on a treadmill and watch them move or to occasionally talk to them about what they've done at the weekend. We're not there to babysit them. We're not there just to stand with them. What we are there to do is to help them get a result. Now, results come from making changes, but we're not making changes just in our our uh, like behaviors or what we're talking about or what we're doing with our clients. The changes we're making is the anatomy and physiology of the body. And there's a phrase for this, it's called the said principle, specific adaptation to an imposed demand. Now the said principle is really important. Once you understand that every time we do an activity or an exercise, or we put a challenge or a stressor on the body, it will adapt to get better at doing that so that next time we come to do it, it's easier and we feel better at being able to do it. That therefore makes us stronger, makes us leaner, meaner, have more endurance. It means that we're able to go faster. These are the types of adaptations that happen as a result of putting a challenge or a stressor on the body. So it's really important to bear in mind that when you're working with your clients to achieve a goal, we're actually not just moving and doing exercise for exercise sake. We're choosing the exercise and the variables and the intensities based on the adaptation that we would like to see in their physiology, in their anatomy. And it's the anat anatomical and physiological demand that happens in the body when we do the exercises, when we have the variables, when we do the workouts and we repeat them over a certain amount of time frame, that our clients then make changes in their body. And as a result, that is their goal. They achieve their goal as a result of the adaptations we put in place. Now, that might sound complex, but essentially it's saying if your client wants to get stronger, we need to do things that will make them stronger, which is lifting heavier things. <laughs> if your client wants to have more endurance, we need to do things that will allow them to go for longer, which involves then 
being able to push the boundaries and move for longer. So actually it's thinking about these variables and mapping them across. So that's why we need to know about anatomy and physiology as personal trainers, as, an, as fitness professionals, because it means our focus moves well away from just the exercise and being next to our clients and counting to 12 for them. And the focus instead goes towards their goal. The focus becomes, can I get the best result for my clients in the best, most efficient and effective way? And therefore, get them a good result, which gets you a great result in your business too. So as a personal trainer and a fit pro, knowing anatomy and physiology is the foundation of really being able to get a great result with your clients. So what I'd love to hear from you is what's your big takeaway from today's video? Drop a little comment below and let me know. And also, what is it that you want to go out and do as a fit pro? What results do you really want to go and get with clients? Pop that in the comments below as well, because I'd love to hear from you. Also, if you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, then make sure you do that. And I will see you on the next video, whereby we'll be talking about anatomy and physiology, being a personal trainer and being the very best you can possibly be. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you soon.